Already starting to see the water coming up on shore on our beaches nearing the dunes. Really strong rip current shoreline erosion will be possible and we've got near shore roads, homes, businesses that may flood. And right now this morning, we've got our very own Madeline Salinas that is out on our local beach. Uh, I think you're still out by the seawall, right, Madeline, where where water's yeah. already approaching the, the edge of that wall. What are you seeing? Yeah. Yeah, Carly, I, I'm still here and honestly, since the last time we talked, it's gotten windier somehow and it started to sprinkle a little bit. Um, so definitely it, it's getting a little bit crazier, not too crazy, but a little bit crazier. Um, right now I'm joined by Mr. Josh Chapman, who works with the city's Parks and Rec Department. Um, he's the one that I mentioned earlier was telling us a little bit about what they were seeing earlier. Sir, I know yesterday you said you and your team kind of started prepping for, for this right in some way. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so we, we pulled all of our trash cans off the beaches. Uh, we have eight miles of beach to maintain, and then we pulled all of our uh, Skittle cans, Skittle structures, and we took the lifeguard towers down as well. And, you know, in your experience, I mean, we were talking a little bit earlier before camera. When was the last time or you saw something like this, or what's it been like to kind of see something like this here on our beaches? Uh, for me, myself, personally, it's it's been about four years being like this. And, and, you know, we were also talking before we got on camera, you know, people are going to be coming out here and you can't see them now on camera, guys, but there's people that are starting to come out to the seawall to kind of, kind of check this out. Um, you know, what advice do you have for people that may want to come check some of this out safely, of course? Uh, just the best spot to view it would be on top of the seawall, but just if you have, want to go out there, just be very cautious. The, the water is not forgiving. Well, awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. And guys, I'm sure you guys can are getting a good look of it now. It's crazy. It's getting windier. I'm wondering if you guys can hear that. Um, but it has gotten absolutely just, I mean, within the last time we've spoken to you guys, it's gotten windier. It's kind of drizzling now. Um, so just a reminder that if you are coming out here, please, please be careful. Um, if you're a surfer, surfer just be cautious. Um, but Carly, I think I'm a I'm just yeah, like what, what you said, mirror what you said. It's it's going to get just a little bit crazier within the next few hours and days. I'm going to toss it back to you guys. All right. Keep in mind that we will continue to track all things weather. We're going to do that with a special edition of three news that will be coming your way tomorrow morning, beginning at 11. I'll be here alongside meteorologist Carly Smith to keep you updated, not only on the expected rain, but also any potential impact across the coastal bend. Keeping you